Decisions made by City Council have a direct impact on the people of Kingston. Stay informed about your city. Get all the updates here each morning after Kingston City Council meetings. You're watching From the Mayor's Chair with Brian Patterson. At our April 16th Council meeting, there were several motions that generated debate and discussion around the Council Horseshoe. The first motion was a request asking staff to provide options on how the city could contribute to the vision of a new hospice facility. Council heard last night how Kingston is currently the largest city in Ontario without a hospice and how a new 10-bed facility would provide palliative care options and support for families as well. Over the last few years, Hospice Kingston has raised over $10 million towards the cost of the construction of the new facility. And so Council voted unanimously to provide a contribution towards this vision to help begin construction on the new hospice. Last night, Council also had an extended debate on a motion calling for the city to adopt a living wage policy. Now this policy would ensure that all permanent full-time employees would be paid at or above the living wage threshold, defined as the amount of money needed to be able to afford the basic cost of living in a community. Now, Council passed this motion, noting that there would be no additional cost since all city employees already meet this threshold. However, Council also voted to engage in additional consultation about how a living wage policy could be extended to businesses that would be bidding on city contracts. Finally, last night, Council passed a motion asking for a peer review of the environmental study supporting the proposed redevelopment of the former Davis Tannery property. Now, Council received an update about how work continues on a plan that would see the contamination on this site removed and allow for redevelopment with a significant amount of new housing. The discussion around the environmental study was an opportunity for Council to raise concerns about having more green space and about preserving the natural shoreline along the property. More information on the redevelopment of the Davis Tannery is expected later this year. For more information on these issues or other Council business, you can check out the City's website, cityofkingston.ca, or be sure to check out my website, mayorpatterson.com, or follow me on Twitter, at Mayor Patterson.